Welcome back to Project 2 Arrow and the RANS S21 project. I don't really have a ton to update you on as far as the project is concerned. However, I do have some pretty exciting things to share with you that I've been working on in the background for a while now. You've all seen me somewhat crudely create a few parts from scratch that honestly would work fine in the end, but I wanted to be able to contribute something or contribute in some way towards others pursuing a similar Yamaha conversion. So I jumped in Fusion 360 and I drew up my entire throttle reversing mechanism as well as that heat exchanger adapter plate. I'm still a bit new to the CAD world and I'm mostly self-taught, but I think what I came up with is something that anyone would be happy with to have on their engine. Let's jump over and see what this looks like in real life. All the parts you see in black anodizing are 6061 aluminum with the exception of that main bell crank. For that one I used 7075 as it does interact with the stainless steel throttle cable a little bit and I wanted it to be harder. It rides on a bearing and it's all held in place with a snap ring. This setup will only fit on the turbo 3 cylinder Yamaha engine since it uses those stock bosses on the valve cover to secure it in place. In the end, if or when I offer these for sale, I'll include a cable with permanent barrels rather than the set screw style that you see here that I've used. I'm really just trying to gauge the interest and get a feel for what the desire is for parts like this out there. As you all know, pursuing parts of this caliber is an expensive endeavor, and I don't really want to go much further down this path unless I feel I can get my cash back out of it. I expect the throttle setup to run in the $300 range in the end. That wouldn't include that cable that goes through the firewall up to the dash, it's just the mechanism up here on the engine side of things. That old cooler plate replaces the old water heat exchanger and it gives you dash 8 AN fittings for routing to an external thermostat and an oil cooler. It also has provisions for an oil temp sensor right there in the flow of the oil leaving the engine on its way to the cooler. It mounts with all the stock hardware and also uses the O-ring that the heat exchanger did. I don't plan to offer this for purchase just yet since I really haven't tested it, but that will come soon enough. This plate would be somewhere around $100 in the end. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to throw the ball out to you guys. It's now your turn. Let me know what you think of these parts. I really think it'll help guys get over some of those hurdles that they come up against when contemplating a conversion engine. As always, I do appreciate you watching, and I look forward to seeing what you think in the comment section below. I'll see you on the next one.